Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's explore the noise maker tool. This noise maker tool allows you to mask your model or displace your model using procedural textures. Uh, like right now, what I've used is a, a custom image and I've projected it out and repeated in on the model. So let's explore this tool in detail uh, in this video. Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the noise maker. So if you could see in the tool menu, if you just go to the surface section, you have uh, the noise. Uh, in general, your model should look like this. But if you just enable the noise here, it brings up the noise. Uh, by default, you may not get uh, this kind of scales. I have opened the light box and then you have the noise tab here. You double click any one of this, you get the noise uh, placed onto this particular model here. Okay. So I have picked one of the noise which you could see here. And that was my default uh, uh, display what I was showing you. Okay. Uh, in general, if I just go to a new document and then take this one and then if I apply the noise. But one thing I would like to do is I would like to divide this a couple of times and then I'll go to the surface and then go to the noise section and then hit this noise button. Okay. Right now, uh, the noise is working on 3D. So in general textures are uh, placed onto the model using different uh, concepts one is the uv unwrapping or uv layout concept the other one is the projection concept so here when i am in the 3d uh, the textures will be projected onto the model in 3d space so that has its own problems let me just uh, go to the noise plugin that brings up this noise plugin here and these are all procedural textures which you have inside so if i just enable the war noise and then say okay then you should get that texture onto the model however just go to the strength option and increase that and then you should see some result there now what's really happening here is there are two things one is the noise and another one is the texture which are displayed onto this model let me go to the mix basic noise option and then reduce that value which brings up only the warnoy texture which i have picked from the noise maker here the every texture what we have here has its own settings like if i take the played texture it has its own settings so i'm just choosing the warnoy here and this is what i have got there are two things one is the noise scale and the plugin scale so if i just select the plugin scale and then drag it the size of the warnoy texture is controlled here and you have the strength which controls the intensity of this noise okay and we have the mix by noise which is bringing up noise overlay a secondary layer of texture to the procedural patterns and you could able to see there is a noise scale which controls the size of this noise which is uh, on top of uh, the previous one okay uh, we have uh, different blending modes which is going to blend with the texture here okay so let me go to the edit and then choose a different texture you could see you have the bricks camouflage checkerboard cheetah corrugated dents erosion so you can keep uh, exploring those patterns here uh, you have, uh, uh, as I told you, every uh, texture has its own uh, set of controls. Now, if I just choose the blending mode, like mix, multiply, difference, min, max, max, it is showing up in different areas. Uh, so the mix of noise is uh, seen here. Uh, we have uh, the other options like UV. We have magnify by mask and strength by mask. Uh, you're not able to see this and I'll show you the reason why. Uh, magnify by mask and strength by mask will not work until I'll just cancel it. I'll just mask this model. Okay. Like that. I press Ctrl H so that it's not visible. So I go to the noise. Okay. And then noise plugin. Then choose the war noise. Increase the strength. And then we got the. You should be able to see uh, the effect is only. Uh, seen in outside the model and there's no effect in the masked area so we have uh, a magnify by mask option and then you got uh, a strength by mask so when i'm reducing this value you should be able to see the warnoy is visible in the masked area with the strength slider and magnify slider is controlling the size of the warnoy in the masked area okay so that that features only work when you are in the mask mode and when you apply you should be able to see the result here and uh, if i want to apply the warnoy only in the masked area you, you need to hit this button here 
and then it will only show up i mean the masking is applied only in the previous mask what we, where we have painted it later this mask can be used to apply any sort of deformations to it like maybe inflating this or deflating this okay so i'll just uh, reset that so i'll just undo um, all of them just go to the noise and you should able to see the uv option is not really working on this and why is that uh, the model which i have taken here okay this is a normal uh, sphere which has been dynamished and uh, this model doesn't have any uh, uvs on top of it i mean uv unwrapping is not done you should able to see that so let me just uh, make the uv unwrapping of the, the model okay okay i've just uh, split this into two polygon groups i go to the z plugin uv master enable poly groups and then unwrap it so once that is done if you go to the uv map and then morph it you should able to see the uv unwrapping of this two poly groups okay so once you brought your uv unwrapping okay you can just uh, go to the geometry and then divide it for the smoother result and then go to the surface section enable the noise and you should able to see the uv option is on there okay so i go to the noise plugin and then bring on the warnai again okay and then change the strength here and then reduce the noise there now you should able to see uh, this texture right now it looks pretty good and when i rotate it, uh, it it looks like nicely placed and the reason is this texture type is a 3d texture uh, let me just try some other textures which are maybe um, having the patterns okay uh, we have this uh, stone texture okay and uh, i will be choosing the noise uh, sorry plugin scale and then when i apply okay you should be able to see uh, the texture here sometimes i mean some textures will look stretched on the model see that okay so this uh, model is getting a stretched texture because it has been projected from this you don't get this problem with 3d textures it it only comes with the 2d textures and when you're placing them on the model they are just projected from one point of view so if i go to the edit and then choose uv instead okay you should be able to see the yeah, the pattern has been laid off on the uv of the model and i could clearly see there is a seam line issue there okay uh, there are two uh, options here one is like uh, projecting it on the 3d model or projecting onto its uvs both have their own set of problems when you're doing this kind of texture okay so once uh, that is done you can generally apply okay but before going into that you could see there is an option called offset uh, you got x offset y offset and z offset i'll just choose a 3d one so it moves left right so you have the angle which rotates the texture you got the scale which uh, scales the texture if you have done any modification to this you can always hit reset reset and then that brings back the texture to its normal size okay so you have uh, these colors here if i let's say choose the red and uh, it will generally poly paint your model okay and uh, the color what we have taken is taken as an additional blend on top of it but only it shows in certain areas let me just uh, go to any other texture like uh, now you should be able to see this now i have taken the red and it, it's showing up only in in particular area of the model something which is elevated and the cavities don't get the color now what is the base color the color which my model had earlier you can use the curve tool just to control the texture in terms of uh, their you know transitions from the high to the low you can hit the reset button to reset those textures okay once that is done you could see this visualization on the model you need to just go to this option called apply to the mesh that that brings up the color and the model to the mesh but before going into that you could able to see we have a smooth normal option so this is generally smoothing the normals which softens up the details and then you have uv smoothing option which uh, when you are doing the mesh smooth uh, uv need to be smooth accordingly so let that option be on there once that is done you can go to the apply to the mesh and then it generally applies onto the mesh there so let me go to the surface and then hit apply to the mesh here you're not getting the color applied onto the mesh for that uh, make sure that uh, okay let's see there is option in standard brush the rgb and also we have a in poly paint section there's option called colorize so let me try the colorize button first on here then go to the surface and then apply to the mesh and you should be able to see the object gets the color what we have picked onto the model so this is now uh, you know displaced the model with the texture the procedural texture what we have got okay 
and uh, it also got the color what we have picked there uh, let's say if i enable this option here it will create a mask of the textures what we have created the, later you can use it for any sort of modeling uh, tools and coloring tools say for example i can use the inflate or inflate balloon which brings up this kind of details onto the model okay later you can clear the mask if required so mask can be kept or it can be applied to the mesh itself okay uh, apart from that let's say if i have to uh, create my custom textures i go to the uh, noise section there um, and then here we have alpha on and off and i got this floral texture i'm going to use that and then choose the strength option here and then i remove the mix noise option and then we have uh, the positive and the negative masking there okay you can control the size here using the alpha scale option so just uh, slide it over like that and uh, it, it can be applied onto the uvs of the model or it can be projected as i told when i project the 2d texture it stretches on the other side of this particular model it's like a projector projecting the texture like that so it doesn't look good on the other side and if i do the uv it's going to project on the uvs however it has its own same problems in terms of this unless until we get the triplane of projection in this tool we may still face this kind of problems in this particular tool okay so once this has been taken you can just apply uh, to the mesh and then you get your result on the model there you can also go to the uh, light box and then go to the noise section and there are so many noises which are already i mean presets of the noise you can use it onto your model okay and once you have uh, double clicked it's just a visualization again you can go to the edit section edit those options and then either you can apply to the mesh or bring it to the mask or bring it to the masked areas okay so this is what uh, noise maker is about uh, explore uh, this tool uh, when you want to create procedural patterns on the costumes and uh, outfits Ma majorly it's used there and uh, happy sculpting